I try to remove multiple collections within 24 hours. I'm gonna show you what I said, what I did, and what were the results. So sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink, cause we about to get straight into it. Hold up, before I get into the process and the results of the process, when it comes to credit repair, we was taught never to dispute online. However, I wanted to leverage the laws like I do on the CFPB to see if we can get some accounts removed from our credit report versus going through the entire process of going back and forth and back and forth with the credit bureaus. Let's see if I can get some results. And we disputed four accounts, or well, I disputed four accounts on TransUnion, four accounts on Experian, and four accounts on Equifax. And we only got two accounts removed out of the 12 accounts, okay? And let me basically walk you through what happened, what I said, and what were the results and what it looked like. So let's get into it. So I disputed this account back in February 2nd. However, as you can see, there is no change, no change, no change, no change to this account, all right? Now, this can be very discouraging. This is the reason why I always tell people, don't focus on the actual credit score, focus on the actual report. Because once you start doing what you need to do to get things removed from your credit report, you're gonna see your credit score increase. But this can be very disheartening because as you can see, there is no change. But if you go more into every single day, you're gonna see some things that are actually changing. So let me give you an example. On February 2nd, we did this. And as you can see, February 3rd, the account got removed. However, like I said, the other three accounts didn't get removed. But as you can see, this person paid down their Navy Federal card. And as you can see, nothing got the, um, as you can see, their credit score did not increase. And like I said, this can be very discouraging because you're not seeing improvement of your credit score. Even though you're getting things removed from your credit report, you're not seeing improvement of your credit score. So. I always tell people, don't focus on the credit score, focus on the report because you're going to reap what you sow. And then eventually over time, you're going to see improvement of your credit score. All right. So don't focus on your credit report. Continue going through the process of getting things removed from your credit report and continue paying down your balances um, to get things removed from your credit report. All right. So let me show you, this was on Equifax. We got this account removed off of Equifax. Now, when it comes to, let me show you what happened on TransUnion. Now, it took a little bit of longer time to get it removed from TransUnion, but like I said, I'm gonna show you the write-up that we actually did, but let me show you it got removed because as y'all know, I'll be saying stuff is cap, and let me just show you it wasn't cap. So as you can see, the same thing, February 15th, 9th, 3rd, like February 1st, no change, or as you can see, one point drop, all right? However, if you just go within the details, like I said, TransUnion, it took a little bit longer. However, but we did get the account removed, not in 24 hours, but hey, it was it was quicker than waiting 30 days. But we only got one of the account out of the three. And I feel like that wasn't a success, even though we still got the account removed. Now, as you can see, the collection got removed from the file. Um, the balance increased, balance decreased. Okay. Like I said, you have to continue doing what you need to do to improve your credit score. Just by you removing the account off your credit report isn't gonna be guaranteed that your credit score is gonna increase. You're gonna to have to do some more things, decreasing your um, balances and also removing all the negative stuff. And if you have lates and stuff like that, you're still gonna to have to get them things removed from your credit report, all right? So here's a write-up that we use, all right? We use the same write-up on Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And basically what we did was we based it off um, a previous case according to um, Cushman versus TransUnion 1997. Now, the everything that you dispute, the onus is on the credit bureaus. They're supposed to prove that everything is complete and accurate, all right? So Experian is supposed to ensure, not only Experian, TransUnion and Equifax and every other consumer reporting agency is supposed to ensure maximum possible accuracy, all right? Now, as you read the laws, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, it doesn't say Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, it says, all consumer reporting agency are supposed to ensure maximum po possible accuracy and this account violate these laws which is 15 usc 1681 i 15 usc 1681 s-2 15 usc 1681 um i5 15 usc 1681 eb and then we basically said delete this account hold up before you go through that process if you already disputed accounts on Experian, if you already disputed accounts on transunion and equifax do not dispute, wait until you receive your investigation. And then you go through the process of what I showed you, right? Now, how do you go through that process? You have to go create a free account with Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, all right? All right, so for my visual learners, I know you guys like to see. Um, so here's what you need to do. So for an example, 
if you never dispute it online, all you have to do is just create an account with the Experian. Then once you create a free account with the Experian, just Google free account Experian, and then you should be able to walk through that process. Now, once you're on that process, what you want to do is um, click on, go all the way down to the bottom, click on Help Center, and then from Help Center, be able to start a new dispute. And then from there, just walk you through the process of dispute. All right. And what you're going to see is like right here, accounts, public records, personal information. But once you click on a specific account, now you're going to be able to dispute. So which one you want to click? A lot of people click on not mine, but we're not going to click on that. We're going to click on other reason. OK, now the other reason um, now we're going to click on. No, I don't believe this is identity theft. And then what we're going to do is just paste in what we're talking about. All right. So. So, um, according to Cushman versus TransU, 1997 experience is supposed to ensure maximum possible accuracy. This account violates these laws, and we talked about that. And then um, delete this account, okay? And then click on next. And then from there, click on submit dispute, okay? Now, I'm not going to submit this dispute because this don't need to be disputed. Now, for experience, how you do it on TransUnion, okay? So. It's the same exact process. Create a free account on TransUnion, and once you're there, just click on Start New Dispute, and then from there, it's gonna you're gonna see all the different type of negative accounts. And now, what you're gonna do is just click on this part. You're gonna be on this screen. Have you disputed this item in us within the last 120 days? Yes or no? No. And then click on Save and Continue. And then from there, what you're gonna do is it's gonna load up some. Um, it's gonna load up something it's inaccurate okay and now what we want to do is like i said most people go wrong when they say it's not mine okay but what you want to do is click on this instead all right so click on it's not um it is inaccurate and then what we want to do is click on other right well, once we click on other now we want to provide a brief description of what you're saying all right so according to this bam same exact thing okay and then from there now what you want to do is click on save and continue and go through that process again. So this is how you leverage to get some accounts removed. Now, some of the accounts are not gonna get removed just like I showed you, all right? I wanted to test this out first, bring it back to you to show you and give you proof that it can work. However, everything isn't 100% guaranteed. So if you do get some accounts removed from your credit report, and or if you don't get some accounts removed from your credit report, let me walk you through another process of what we do and how we leverage the CFPB to give you more laws. Because if you try to dispute on Experian, TransUnion, Equifax online, you only could do a brief summary. But when you dispute on when you dispute with the CFPB, guess what? It allows you to write up a big paragraph of everything what happened, right? Who, what, when, why, and how, and what everything that you did. So let me walk you through that entire process on how to leverage the CFPB to get some results. If when you dispute online through Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, you don't get no results. So let me walk you through that process right now. So here's how we're gonna leverage the CFPB. If you don't have an account, all you have to do is just Google and then create an account with them. Click on submit a complaint, create an account. And then you're gonna be in the back portal. And then at the top right hand corner, when, you, when you're in the back portal and you're logged in, click on submit a complaint, all right? Now you're gonna be on a screen that looks similar to this. And all you wanna do is just click on credit reported and then scroll down and click on credit reported again, all right? Now, what we wanna use is this specific complaint, all right? Improper use of your credit report and then reported company use your report improperly, all right? Have you tried to fix this problem? Yes, I'm pretty sure you tried to dispute online before. Did you request information from this company? Um, no. And then how we're gonna write up our complaint is based off of the laws. Who, what, when, how, why, and what we did, all right? So everything is gonna be a little bit different, okay? So when it comes to um, writing up this complaint, basically what you wanna do first is go to Identity IQ and get some information. You're gonna need the account name and account number. Now it's okay if they don't show the entire account number. If they show partial of the account number, it's okay. But what we're doing is leveraging the specific laws. All right, so remember, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, we're gonna create three separate complaints, all right? The reason why we're gonna cre create three separate complaints is because Experian shows negative accounts, TransUnion shows negative accounts, and Equifax, but all three of them, there's a report on all three. So you don't want to miss a match because we want the credit bureaus to actually do what they're supposed to do and not just say, oh, this account is not on this report, all right? And don't do nothing. 
All right, so we're going to create three separate complaints and we're just talking to whoever credit bureau you want to talk to first. But in accordance with the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the list of accounts below has violated my federal protected consumer rights to privacy and confidentiality under 15 U.S.C. 1681. Account name, the account name that you're going to put is all the negative accounts um, and the account number. This is an example of one, two, three, four, but you're going to put that actual account number and partial, whatever, the partial of the account number, all right? So just list all the negative accounts that's on Experian. And then you're going to list, you're going to create another separate complaint for TransUnion and a separate, separate complaint for Equifax. All right. And then basically they have violated these laws right here, the right to privacy, 15 USC, 1681EB. They're supposed to ensure um, this. Um, they also violated this specific law. And then they also violated this specific law. Now, what do you want to happen? So all the accounts that you want to get removed, make a copy of it. And then basically, basically what you're going to do is just scroll down and say, delete these accounts. All right. And then bam, account name, delete these accounts. All right. Now, what you want to do next is just click on next. All right. Now, once you click on next, who are we talking to? Who are you making this report? Um, who are you talking to? Are you talking to TransUnion, Experian or Equifax? So if you're talking to Equifax, all right. Here's what you want to do. Equifax Information Services, social, name as it pairs, date of birth, important, all right? Put that information in. Do you want to complain with another company? Either yes or no. No, all right? Because we're going to create two separate complaints, all right? So we're not going to put the other two. We're just going to click on next and then fill out the information, all right? So you submitted your complaint. Here's what's going to happen next. The credit bureaus might ask for an additional 60 days. Now it's not going to take 60 days. It usually just takes 30 days for them to do their investigation. All right. But you should start seeing some results. If you don't start seeing no results, you have two options. What you got to do now is actually create a letter and do with the process that I teach. And I'm going to show you that process of going back and forth and back and forth with the credit bureaus. The second option is a hey, let my litigation team to actually go through the process and do everything for you. What we do is something different. All right. We soon the credit bureaus and we soon the debt collectors because we don't have time to go back and forth and go back and forth. What we do is collect violations, uh, put everything together, submit it to the lawyer. And then what we do is sue them. All right. Now, when we sue them, a hey, it takes time. OK, we got to get the violations create everything and then draft everything up and submit it to the lawyer and then the lawyer goes after the credit bureaus and go after um the debt collectors the reason why i showed you the other process earlier is because i know that you're trying to get these things removed from your credit report now when it comes to credit repair it does take time but suing a hey, it takes a little longer however it's some it's the best results here's why because now we're getting the violations we're collecting everything and we're going out there all right but if you want to go through option one let me walk you through that process to actually go ahead and send a letter i'm gonna show you which letter to send and the whole process of what you need to do to actually go back and forth and back and forth with the credit bureaus so if you want to go back and forth with the credit bureaus there are some things you want to do first all right but the first thing you want to do is remember when we went to experience you're going to act like you're going to just online but most importantly what you're going to see is your information that's going to be incorrect all right all your names and addresses what you want to do is put all those all that information onto this letter right here okay this letter is basically is helping you remove your personal information off your credit report because it is attached to those negative accounts and you want to detach it right so you want to get those um that personal information off now don't allow this to stop you from sending in your first i mean your actual investigation letter and don't let this stop you from sending in your investigation letter, all right? So what you want to do first is send this letter out, wait, all right? And then what you want to do next is actually send your next letter out, which is going to be this letter right here, okay? This letter right here is the next letter that, I mean, the, the letter that you want to send out. And we're doing things according to the laws, all right? We do everything according to the laws. So what we want to do first is just send this letter asking the credit bureaus to do one specific thing. All right. I just recently looked at my report and I wanted to make sure everything is 100% accurate and 100% correct and accurate. Can you reinvestigate the accounts listed below? All right. What we're giving them, what we're allowing them to do is giving them an opportunity to reinvestigate the accounts to make sure everything is complete and accurate. Okay. They sure already did their job the first time, but we're giving them another opportunity to reinvestigate those accounts. All right. Now, once you give them opportunity to reinvestigate the accounts, what was supposed to happen next is 
after let's just say you sent the letter out remember add two forms of identification get it notarized get it certified and after you wait um they have 30 days to do an investigation they have five additional days to actually send the letter to you all right so about 35 days you're supposed to start seeing some results of this letter now you won't get accounts removed from your credit report all right you're going to get you might get some accounts but most of the time you're not going to get everything removed or you're not going to get some accounts from you're going to get some accounts removed but you're not going to get everything removed from your credit report all right and you might not get nothing removed it's okay the whole point of this letter is to ask them to reinvestigate those accounts all right now next what's next what's supposed to happen is remember when you look at your identity iq report all right if you look at the account the account the date open date last active when you look on expand transgene equifax everything is supposed to be complete and accurate across the board and what's going to happen is they're not going to update they're not going to modify and they're not going to delete nothing they're going to say they updated and modified but if you look at the previous report so you sent your letter out let's just say january 1st and then now you waited an, um, 35 days and you look at your report and it's like january that's just i mean february 10th okay they didn't update or modify nothing as you can see but here's what you want to do now you want to ask them how did they do that okay and we're just doing this based off of the next law so 15 usc 1681 i7 all right and this is what we're going to use we're going to create another letter asking them since they said they verified it all right and we're only talking to either transunion expand or equifax all right I'm right. I'm right into request a detailed description of the investigation process followed by your agency regarding the disputed accounts on my reports pursuant to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is 15 USC 1681 I7. And under this section, the credit reporting agencies are obligated to provide a description of the investigation within 15 days of receiving a consumer's dispute. All right. Now, what accounts got verified? Put the account name and account number and then what you're telling them to do is provide the description of the procedure of the investigation used to verify this account if you can't delete this account immediately all right and you're going to send that certified to transunion Experian, and equifax and i want to let you know that nine times out of ten they're not going to provide you a description they're not going to respond back to you within 15 days violation after violation after violation all right so what do you do next what you want to do next is actually file the complaint after the 15 days has elapsed. All right. So make sure you send it certified and see where, make sure you add your two forms of identification, send your letter out certify. And what you want to do now is just wait. Right. And then after the 15 days elapsed, file the complaint. Let me show you how to file this complaint. Well, here's what you want to do now. All right. So what you want to do now is just click on credit report and remember, click on credit report and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click on credit report and again. All right. So click on credit report and then click on next. Now you should probably know this process. If you don't know this process, I know some people do, but most importantly, here's what you want to do now. Click on problem with, think with a company's investigation into an existing problem. Okay. Now, which best describes your problem? was not notified their investigation did not fix an error on your report have you already tried to fix this um problem yes all right tried multiple times did you request um no and then now what we want to do is basically type up what happened okay now this is going to be a little bit different versus what we did the first time all right a little bit different but most importantly kind of the same but we just basing off of um what we did so based off of what you did and it's based off of um, what happened? I looked at my report back on whatever day you looked at your report. So back on December, let's just say 29th. All right. December 29th, 2023. This is just an example. And notice some things are incomplete and not accurate. And according to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, whenever a consumer report agency prepares a consumer report, it shall got to let them know that it shall follow reasonable procedures to ensure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates these accounts all right remember what accounts we're talking about these accounts that you saw on Experian, transunion equifax when you look at your credit report all right are not complete and accurate i sent the letter asking them to make sure everything is complete and accurate and here's my tracking number they sent me an investigation back saying everything is complete and accurate. But if you check my attachments, 
everything is not completely inaccurate, all right? And then based off of the laws, okay? So according to, oops, according to this law, they're supposed to do this specific thing. And according to this law, remember when we talked about 18 U.S.C. 1681 I-7, they're supposed to do this specific thing. They didn't do that as well. And according to S-2A, they didn't do this as well. So what we want to do is tell them, delete these accounts. Remember, whatever accounts you want to get removed, put the accounts on here. Remember, we only going to create, we're going to create three separate complaints, one for TransUnion, one for Experian, one for Equifax, okay? Now, what you want to do is just upload the documents that you sent the letters out. You can also upload your report showing the inaccuracies. And then now what you want to do is just click on next. And then, like I said, who are you talking to? Um, just look for who you're talking to. Just say we're talking to Equifax. And then look for Equifax. Make sure pop up, information services, social, name as it appears, date of birth, and then click on um, do you want to complain with another company? Make sure you pull out your fill out your information and then click on next. I know what you're probably thinking. This is a lot of work, but you got to do what you got to do to get your desired results. And yes, you got to continue doing this process over and over and over again until you get them things removed from your credit report, until you get them accounts removed. However, this is the reason why we created the litigation service to sue the credit bureaus and sue these debt collectors for violating your rights. The reason why is because even though you do this process, even though you continue doing what you need to do, the credit bureaus like to play crazy. All right, so this is the reason why we came up with this service because I already know the credit bureaus like to play crazy. So if you want, click the link in the description. I'm um, applied to see if this is actually a good fit. If it's not, continue watching the videos, going through the process, and I'll continue providing value so I can show you different ways on how to remove them accounts from your credit report. I appreciate you for watching this video. Thank you, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.